Yesterday in the Crawfordville area, right. man, we got some serious. Was oh, there yeah. any reports yeah. of any flooding down there because uh, of all they that? Had flush, they had flash flood warnings, so warnings. probably yeah. some, some roads and stuff. I didn't see any pictures of it, yeah. but I did see some radar estimates. I was checking them out near eight inches around Sop Choppy. So that's a lot oh, of rain yeah. in a short period of time. <laughs> I'm not going to see anything like that, I hope, today. I haven't seen the same kind of setup yet, but I do see some showers on the radar picture, especially if we zoom in maybe down to parts of southernmost Jefferson County and parts of southeasternmost Wakulla County right now. Right along Highway 98, we're seeing some pretty good rain. We also have a little bit more in southeastern parts of Leon, a little bit more in northwestern parts of Leon, so sort of scattered throughout the county. And here, for a lot of Jefferson County, from Monticello over into the beginnings of Madison County, we've got a few showers here. A couple trying to lift their way into parts of Brooks and Lounge County. So the showers that are moving just west of north continue to do that. We have plenty out there already. We're going to have more. The most impressive rains that we've seen early this morning are here west of Panama City and west of Dothan, Alabama. We'll continue to watch those and see if they drift away from our area. They should. We're at 71 degrees in Tallahassee right now. A little breeze out of the east. We're at 69 in Valdosta. Same kind of breeze southeast. Yesterday only picked up seven hundredths of an inch of rain, which doesn't seem possible with all the showers around the area. But that's what fell at the Tallahassee Airport for the month. We're still about an inch ahead of schedule for the year, about two-thirds of an inch behind, if you can believe that. It feels like it had to stop raining in about ten days. And we've got four or five more days, I think, where the rain chances are going to stay super high. 85 was the top temperature yesterday. Normal morning low should be back in the 60s. For a lot of us, it's in the low 70s right now. That breeze is doing its very best to limit any real thick fog from forming. But there's plenty of showers out there and likely going to be more. That's what Futurecast shows us. Remember, these are not the one and done kind of lines of showers that we can track and tell you they'll be here between 2 and 4 and then we're finished. These are the kind of showers that want to pop up when they feel like it. And it's going to look and feel like it should be raining even when it isn't at times. Of course, when we get those breaks, and we will have some of those breaks, but if we get a little sunshine, it's going to make it real steamy. Now, way down here to the south is some more energy in the upper levels of the atmosphere that's got at least some potential for some tropical development, even if it doesn't develop, and it likely won't. As it moves north, it's going to bring that moisture with it, and that's going to only enhance our chances for more rains, maybe some heavier rains by the end of the week. Now, on the Gulf today, winds out of the southeast, 8 to 16, a little breezy. We're all done with the low tides, and we're going to switch back to the high tides around 9.30 this morning. 60s and 70s, rain chances are going to increase this afternoon. I expect best chances to get wet the next few afternoons, not in the mornings. Of course, we're already wet this morning. Back near 70 again tonight in our extended forecast. A wish was changing, a wish was drying out, but it's staying still showery. Wet week, I probably should change that hashtag to wet two weeks. Wow. <laughs> Wait, two weeks. That should be the new hashtag. There's our sunny weekend. Yeah. Right.